Uh, Brother Sufyan from the UK says, there is a problem. When it comes to divorce, it's an issue of dispute. And because it, of its sensitivity, we try our level best not to give a fatwa on TV. Why? <laughs> See, a person in Pakistan living in that beautiful land, they have an Islamic Sharia court, they have scholars of their own, and they live in the community. They do something, it's legislated in their system that the ruling is so-and-so. I, living in Saudi Arabia, may beg to differ. Not only that, I may have the correct opinion in Islam, according to my beliefs, but I cannot overrule their rulings because they live in their country and they follow a Muslim leader, a Muslim ruler, and they abide by, with, but why, by what he says. Therefore, it's difficult for me to give a fatwa where they would implement and go against the fatwa of the land. So, although Sufyan is from the UK, they have a Sharia board there, a Sharia court. Brother Haytham Haddad is, I believe, a member of it. So they can go, pay them a hundred pounds, and get the ruling, inshallah. Why pay them a hundred pounds, Sheikh? They have to make a living. These guys are not government officials, public servants. They need to make a living, so you have to give them for the time. So you go there and ask them and they will answer you. Generally speaking, if someone, I don't know where he's from, asking me this question, what is the ruling on a man saying to his wife, you're divorced, you're divorced, you're divorced, three times, at the same sitting, at the same time, without having intervals between the divorces for a period of the iddah. Where Allah says, Ya ayyuhun nabi, idha talaqutum un nisa'a fa talaquhunna li iddatihin. There is a time frame that you have to follow. Not give the three in one go. So what's the ruling, Shaykh? And what's the ruling on the divorce of someone who's angry? And what's the ruling on this and that? Well, each needs a separate fatwa. The divorce while you're angry is the norm. Nobody's drinking cappuccino with his wife and says, honey, I love you, you divorced. No, you divorce your wife when you are angry. But the anger itself is divided into levels. The highest level, which is rage, that blocks your vision, that you cannot see when you divorce. And after you wake up, they say, you divorce your wife. I don't remember that. Yes, and you broke the coffee, t uh, the tea table, and you smashed the LCD uh, TV, and you did this, and you did, he says, Wallahi, I don't remember anything. Okay, this is a rage that simulates being in the state of intoxication. Divorce doesn't happen here. So when you say, he divorced me while he's angry, I cannot advise you. Someone has to sit with him, speaks with him, make sure that his anger was extreme rage and not just normal anger. When a wife says to her husband, you're not a man, divorce me if you're a man. He says, yes, you divorced. This is not real anger. This is playing chicken. And he won. And you lost. So what about divorce, divorce, divorce? Or you divorced thrice. The Prophet, at his time, and also at the time of Abu Bakr, such divorce was considered to be one only. Now the Hanafi school of thought followed the opinion of Umar, who changed this and implemented it three as was said, to reprimand people from playing around with divorce. So if you go to a, a Hanafi family and her husband had a fight, and I have hundreds of cases like this. The husband had a fight with his wife in a a moment of anger, he said, I divorce you, I divorce you, I divorce you. Her uncle comes and takes the woman and leaves. And the man says, I reconciled with my wife. He said, no, according to my madhab, she's totally haram for you. 
you need to have halala, as they call it in Urdu, and she has to get married to another one before she can marry you. And they destroy the marriage because of this imbecile. Again, I'm not giving a fatwa. It depends where you live. You have to go to the Muslim authorities and ask them for a fatwa in this. But I'm just generally enlightening you people to know where the difference of opinion comes from and how to behave. It's not cherry picking. So if you live in Pakistan, you divorce your wife three times in one setting before you reach the court says, listen, um, let me go to Egypt. Maybe I'll have an easier response or let me go to Saudi Arabia and have an easier response. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately.